Okay. Um, what's happening here is, you know, when the Bible talks about, at first the church, they say the church is going to, uh, the church is going to be taken up. You ever heard that first? And then there's going to be some people left behind. And, but then they, they, those people will have a chance to get on board also. That particular part has already occurred. That occurred in 1990 up to now. Let me explain what's going on here. What it means is that you had a group of people that said that they came into the, uh, they said that Christ will come and he'll take some of them up, which meant the Christ consciousness. So all the black people that have been into some form of consciousness or some element of consciousness from the last five or six years were the first wave of people that would be taken up. So we talk about damn near old point something when you talk about damn near 60,000 black people. And what has happened is, is that is the reason why you can't tell a lot of your black people this kind of knowledge, they reject it. Because what has happened is when something's saying taken up, you don't understand it. When they're saying taken up, you are thinking of the physical body being taken up and you don't understand that these two eyes, this is all a hologram and an illusion. If you were to look inside of us, compared to some people on the street, it's the difference between having a sun shining and the sun still in the dormant stage. You understand? And that particular difference is that your Christ consciousness, which is the sun, has opened up. So what it is, is by it's opening up, you are in a, you are in one dimension and your other brothers and sisters in the other dimension. That means you have all the knowledge. It means that you are receptive to the knowledge because you are inside of the doorway to be it's just like being in the doorway in the library and being outside of the library. So what it is, they're in a whole nother dimension. What just happened was, and like I said, I was telling Delilah today, Sister Delilah was, I got a friend in Chicago that, that he, he moved from Florida and he was up and he's working in Chicago. Anyway, he's been in his consciousness for a while. So he, they set him up in a hotel room, you know, the job where he was working. And a few brothers from the job came by to visit him, you know. And, um, what happened was, is when they came by to visit him, uh, he said that, uh, what happened was, is, he was just, you know, wasn't hollering at him, he was just talking to knowledge. He was you know, that's what he into, so he went into the knowledge with him. Wasn't hollering or anything, he just went into the knowledge. And he said, the brother jumped up and said, oh man, you stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, man. My, my head hurting, I can't take it, I can't take it. And they ran out of the room. They ran out of the hotel room. He wasn't hollering with him, it's just that, Certain knowledge is like hearing some damn acid rock to certain people that's outside of the dimension. So our people have been taken and have been left behind there like in the 1980s. You see a nigga, you know, it don't make no difference if you got money. He could be a hee-haw bourgeois. You got people, it's almost like, it's almost like all this death and all this stuff going on, it's almost like living in fucking Mayberry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying at all? It's like business as usual, just brain dead people. They good people. People that you love, but just dead. Totally dead. I mean, no knowledge whatsoever. Have no clue. That's a, so the reason why we're thinking everybody's everybody because we're still looking at these eyes and we haven't been learned to look at this eye. And so the people is getting this because they're on the frequency. So you go and you try to teach those people and teach those people and they don't want nothing to do with it. They'll, they'll reject it, they'll reject it, they'll reject it. That's because your soul incarnated, your soul was old enough to incarnate to be the people that would be the light bringers that would go in and get this stuff early so you would be the ones that give it to them when their souls are ready for it in a few days. It ain't gonna take no thousand years and no shit like that. If it's going on with you, that means it's getting ready to go on with them because you done been in this thing a while. So some people say, like, I, only, I only came into the consciousness um, last year. It doesn't make a difference. You have been receptive to the consciousness for the last five or six years. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to get it. You'd be just like everybody else rejecting it. That's why you can see some people, they can go, some people, they, some people have gone to all the conscious meetings. They have gone to everything and they go to all the stuff and still yet, they still Negroes, you know what I'm saying? They still Negroes and shit, talking about some Democrat party and stuff. <laughs> that is because 
What we're dealing with here is we're dealing with people that's in two dimensions. And the reason why you don't know is because you're looking at the physical, and yet we have not transcended the physical yet, all of us. We are in two separate dimensions. And that's when the key talking about left behind, but those particular ones will get on board because the Christ consciousness will come to them. So you're already in your Christ consciousness to even be up in here, even pondering on something on such a divine knowledge, on such a high level that in actuality was found sound utterly strange 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? But now that shit is down like food to stuff, food for thought. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's just like sweet honey in the rock. You see what I'm saying? That's because it's your kind of gasoline.